Ed, I trust that you have a passing acquaintance with the American legal system. Are you kidding? I never missed an episode of Perry Mason. <laughs> <laughs> You're an expert. Right. No, actually, that's the backbone of our uh, jurisprudence system, the jury system is. Everybody has the right to be judged by a jury of his peers. Right, and it's an honor to be called to serve on a jury. But, you know, it's always handled in a very understanding manner. If you can show good cause, if you have a reasonable excuse, they will excuse yeah. you. Now, Marie Osmond was recently excused from jury duty. She was told she had to come down, however, to court and get her deferment in person. Now, that's very unusual, have to show up in person in court for that. Well, it is, maybe, but not when you're called by our practical joke crew. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mary Osmond, as we know, is a fine young lady, a major talent, but just as importantly, she always wants to do the right thing. Now, she fell into our trap perfectly. Imagine going down for your deferment, winding up as a member of a jury that can't go home for weeks. <laughs> Watch this. The victim, Marie Osmond. Now, she's appearing in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and she's been asked to report to a federal court office. The accomplice, Alan Finlinson, Marie's road manager. He's going to court with Marie to help us pull off this practical joke. And this is your old stomping ground, Ed, the boardwalk in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Boy, this brings back a lot of memories. Now, Marie's in town to perform with her brother, Donnie, and this is the federal courthouse where she's been summoned to appear. Now, there are Marie and our accomplice, Alan. Marie thinks she's going to seek a quick deferment and leave. Oh, can we get the seat over there, please? Thank you. Does she need to fill it out or anything? No, I'll just stamp it in, and that's fine. Okay. okay. Now, remember, everybody in this waiting area is in on the joke, and in a moment, actor Thomas J. McCarthy will begin reading off some names, including Marie's. Uh, so, if you want to stay out when I call up your name and get in line, please. Uh, Julie Bennett. Don't waste your time. Jane Bentley. Sam Brosa. Marie Osmond. Bruce Goodwin. Gary At this Scarra. point, Marie thinks she's in a line of people who are getting excused from jury duty. She doesn't know she's about to be sworn in to serve on a jury. Now, Marie is really in a hurry to get this thing over with because this is her opening night in Atlantic City. She'd really like to get back to the hotel and relax. After all, she's been told that this whole process is only going to take a couple of minutes. Now, in a moment, Marie will enter, look around, and realize that she's in a courtroom. Watch. <laughs> she wants to leave, but our accomplice, Alan, is steering her toward the jury box. She's telling Alan, I think there's some mistake. There's no mistake, Marie. This is just the way we planned it. Now, again, remember, this all looks very official, but everybody in the courtroom, from the judge to the police officer, is part of the joke. And here comes the judge. All rise. <laughs> Federal court is now in session with the Honorable Joanne Bradley presiding. Now that's actress Joanne Bradley. You may be seated. Now Marie's got to be thinking, what is this? Don't tell me court's in session. The court is in session. Uh, the matter before the court today is the United States of America versus Mark David Sweeney. Counsel, please identify yourself for the record. Yes, Your Honor. I am Lawrence Shire, Assistant United States Attorney for the Eastern District of New Jersey. This looks serious. I'm the attorney for the defendant, Mark David Sweeney. That's right. All Marie keeps thinking right. is, I'm not supposed to be here. Thanks. I'm not supposed to be here. Good. You do solemnly swear, raise your right hand, please. I'm not supposed to be here. You do solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and that you will faithfully... Alan's helping us out. He's getting sworn in, too. <laughs> do you swear? I do. Thank you. Counsel prepared with the opening statement? I'm not supposed to. Yes, we are, Your Honor. But uh, before we proceed, there's one matter. Well, the bailiff is telling Marie, please be seated. There's a trial going on here. <laughs> now, Marie's not really concentrating on what the lawyer is saying. She's trying to figure out how to get out of all this. But in a moment, she's going to hear the lawyer say the word sequestered. And she knows that means the jury can't go home until the trial is over. Mr. Ferguson and I regretfully request that the jurors be sequestered for the remaining part of this trial. <laughs> <laughs> now, this lady came here to get excused from jury duty. She could be kept here for months. <laughs> These publications, this court will agree to have the jury sequestered. Um, given the lateness of the hour, 
the court will adjourn until Monday morning. At this time, uh, the jury can be excused, and the bailiff will handle your accommodations, phone calls, and any arrangements that happen. Marie's now going to make a personal appeal to the judge. All right. You can. Is there any way we can? Let me bring him. With the rest of the jury, just wait in this area for my right here. Now, Marie is a lady of immense personal charm, and surely she can straighten these things out here. Judge Bradley. I'm Marie Austin. You put me in the wrong line. I don't know how to get in. Hi, I'm Judge Bradley, dear. I'm sorry, I'm not even supposed to be on this jury. I'm, I came, I was subpoenaed for a jury in Utah. Unfortunately, I can't be so They told me to come to the courthouse to send in a paper. To well, send you were sworn in, dear, and this is a, and this is a federal I told offense. Him, that's what I told him, and he told me to just do it. Once you're sworn in, do you have the card? Yes, yeah. Well, I was, our accomplice, Alan Finlinson, does a great job of acting here. What's your name, sir? No, I didn't read out that name. Finlinson? Alan Finlinson. Well, you can, you can be released. You can be released. That was, that was a mistake. About, if you're not, what about Marie? No, I'm She's sorry, dear. You're down here. To do well, I have her name down here, and if I release her, then this is going to become a mistrial. Mm. And this is a, well, this I didn't is a federal. Say I put my head you were sworn in, dear. There's nothing I can do. You don't yes. want to have a mistrial. This is a federal offense. I mean, this is a computer crime with thousands of dollars involved. Well, we're gonna 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 okay, fellas, I think it's time to let this nice young lady off the hook. Uh, send in our lawyer friend here. I'm, I'm sorry, but that's impossible. Your Honor, this is a travesty of justice. This is a joke. <laughs> this is something that you might see on television on a program like TV's Bloopers and Practical Jokes. <laughs> 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 You're sorry. Who did this? I'm fine. Yeah. Wait a second. Oh. Where are you? I'm fine. At last, that famous Osmond smile.